Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're looking at the 10 best armor sets in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. For this list, we'll be going over the most beneficial sets of armor Link can track down in his latest adventure. Which of these sets did you wear the most often in your playthrough? Let us know in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Soldier's Set Many armor sets in Breath of the Wild will give Link a neat perk when worn together. Well, the Soldier Set doesn't do that. However, it does deserve some recognition on two fronts, its high defense and how easy it is to find. All three pieces can be purchased at the clothing shop in Hateno Village, a location the story will take you to early anyway. Each piece has a defense rating of 4, but can reach 28 when leveled up entirely by the Great Fairies. That gives the set higher defense than most others. While it's not as flashy as other sets, the Soldier's Armor provides a much appreciated boost to Link's safety early in the game. Phantom Ganon Set This armor set would get points simply on style alone, but it's also quite useful. Finding each piece isn't too hard, though it does require you to have the Champion's Ballad DLC. Each piece increases Link's stealth, but wearing them all together will disguise him from skeletal enemies like Stalkoblins. On top of that, the set gives an attack bonus for all bone weapons. Not that you'll find yourself using detached enemy limbs as weapons too often. <laughs> The downside to the Phantom Ganon set is that it can't be upgraded by the Great Fairies, meaning each piece only has a defense stat of 4. But it's great for sneaking around and looking cool while doing so, especially if you've got defensive potions on you. Flame Breaker Set <laughs> Death Mountain has been seen in many Zelda games, but the version in Breath of the Wild is probably the most dangerous. Link can't even get close to the Goron City without the immense heat of the volcano chipping away at his health. So it shouldn't be a surprise that the armor set that gets rid of that hindrance is one of the best. Any piece of the Flamebreaker set will help Link make it through the oppressive heat damage free. Upgrading the entire set twice will also make it so Link can't be set on fire, taking away some of the extra damage dealt by flame-based attacks. Each piece's defense stat starts at 3, but can reach 20 when fully upgraded. Zora Set Though you don't travel underwater in Breath of the Wild, there are still plenty of bodies of water to traverse. The Zora set makes doing so much easier in a variety of ways. The helm, armor, and greaves can individually increase Link's swimming speed. However, the helm also lets him perform a spin attack in water while the armor lets him swim up waterfalls. The Rook's protection is now ready to roll! Not only that, but upgrading the set twice decreases the stamina used for dashing or performing the spin attack. Beginning at 3, the defense level of each piece maxes out at 20. While you have to jump through some hoops to get the entire set, including two side quests, it's more than worth it. Snow Quill Set The harsh weather effects in Breath of the Wild make us extremely grateful for any armor that can get rid of them. On the other side of the coin of the Flamebreaker set is the Snow Quill set, all three pieces of which can be bought in Rito Village when you make your way to Divine Beast Va Meadow. It grants Link resistance to the cold, which would otherwise damage him unless you take a potion. Also like the Flamebreaker set, each piece starts with a defense level of 3, but can be upgraded to a max of 20. But it only takes two upgrades to make Link immune to freezing. The Warm Doublet also grants resistance to cold, but has way weaker defense and can't be upgraded. Ah! 
Hero of the Wild set. <laughs> There are several armor sets, mostly available through DLC and Amiibo, that dress Link like those in past games. One you can collect in the base game is the Hero of the Wild set, which dresses Link like the hero in the original game. Unfortunately, it can only be earned after you've completed all 120 shrines. While it takes a while to get, it's certainly a nifty reward. <laughs> It has the same defensive stats as the Soldier set, making it stronger than most other sets in the game. But after you've upgraded it twice, it also adds a damage boost to the Master Sword's beam attacks. It's plenty of fun swinging beams at faraway enemies, but even more so when they're much stronger. Rubber Set Getting electrocuted has to be one of the most annoying things that can happen in Breath of the Wild. It stuns you, deals damage, and causes you to drop a metal weapon or shield if you have one equipped. Any piece of the rubber set will make Link resistant to electric damage, while wearing the full set, upgraded twice, will make him unshockable. If only we had known this before going into the Thunderblight Ganon fight. Naturally, something this helpful takes a lot of work to acquire. The helm is fairly easy to gain, but the other two pieces are found at the end of some frustrating shrine quests. It's worth it for the perks though, and the rubber set has the same defensive stats as the Flamebreaker and Zora sets. <laughs> Climbing set. There are plenty of armor sets whose greatness comes from letting Link deal more, or take less, damage. When it comes to the climbing set though, it's the utility of the set that earns it its spot. Each piece will increase Link's climbing speed, and wearing a twice upgraded full set will decrease stamina usage for jumping while climbing. Unless you've never played the game, you know Link does a whole lot of climbing in Breath of the Wild. Any of the pieces are worth tracking down, though it won't be easy as they're all found in separate shrines. This set also has similar defense stats as others, beginning at 3 and maxing out at 20. <laughs> Barbarian Set One of our favorite sets when it comes to vanquishing our enemies is the appropriately named Barbarian Set. When worn, each piece individually raises Link's attack power. When upgraded twice, charged attacks use up less of Link's stamina. When we weren't worried about specific elements, this is the set we most frequently wore in battle. Stringing attacks together is so much more satisfying when you deal extra damage. Like the climbing set, each piece is found in a different shrine, although this time, you'll be navigating deadly labyrinths to find them. Each piece of the barbarian set also begins at a defense level of 3 and maxes out at 20, but it's the extra strength that makes us love it. Ancient Set When we played Breath of the Wild for the first time, we did everything in our power to avoid Guardians. But once we got the Ancient set, they were no match for us. Finding the armor isn't hard, though getting it might be. You'll have to fork over precious ancient resources at Robbie's lab. We would have paid any price though, as each piece gives Link resistance to Guardian lasers, and the ancient weapons used by Guardian scouts. It also has the same base defense stats as the Soldier set, and after upgrading it twice, we'll add an 80% damage increase with all ancient weapons. Busting out this armor set with the appropriate weapons against these once highly intimidating enemies is remarkably awesome. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.